the tide turns. The mighty shark stucks his prey. Now we strike to the briny deep. I'll show them a watery grave. Come on, let's go! What is up guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play Fizz. So it's an AP assassin and he recently got buffed as well. So right now he is sitting at S tier among the mid laners. So it's one of the best mid laners you can play right now. So starting off with the E, which is the main mobility spell he has and also his damage and weight clear. If you started with um, E level 1, it basically means that you're looking to dodge incoming ability while still being able to farm. And it makes you untargetable when you use the E and it can be used to hop over walls and stuff. So it's a super, super mobile champion that's very hard to shut down. We're just staying back for now. The passive also makes you take reduced damage, so that's also nice to have. And you can recast the E. If you want to make it come down a bit faster, but if you just hold, like if you use your E once, and just let it run out, the damage it deals is going to cover a bigger zone, like right here. This barely any damage, but it's going to add up later on as we get AP and also put points into it. Another W. So this ability makes it really easy to last it because if you kill something with it, oops, I misclicked it, but if you kill something with it, it is going to almost fully refund the cooldown and also give you some mana back so that's very good for last hitting unless you troll like i did previously accidentally attacking the wrong minion then of course it's going to um, mess things up so now we have level 3 this is why you start trading on fizz like this okay so your w is also an auto attack reset so you queue through the target because it's a single target ability that also procs on hit. You queue through them and then you auto attack once. Then you press W to reset the auto attack so you get the electric queue proc really fast and then you can E out. You can do this under the opponent's tower without the tower being able to um, damage you because E will make you untargetable so it's going to reset tower aggro. It's pretty low HP, we can dive her under the tower. This is where Fizz becomes really strong, is that when there's a low HP target, even half HP under the um, other tower, like it's not going to stop him, because he just dives, he does not care. Okay, we just have to wait a little bit here. Flashed out, I could do the E flash if I wanted to. Then you can just E out. I don't know, I think she tried to like return at me with Electrocute and Ignite. No idea, but she died finally. She should have died before, but we got the kill. But we just want to stack up on some heavy AP items, so we're getting the Ludens Tempest. Which gives us some nice mobility, but also damage with the flat Magic Pen. Remember your E, the Buff they did, if I remember remembered right, your E has 90% AP scaling now. From 70 or 75 previously. That's actually a pretty big change, especially if you get some heavy AP item, items, which we will. Just start save with a W. And it's an auto reset, so it makes it pretty simple to last it under the tower. So you should not be struggling with that at least. The same thing you want to do over and over. You go for that short combo I told you guys about. Q to the target, one auto attack, then reset it with a W. And then you can either keep trading or you can E out. One had to take it. Because we're gonna win the trades. Also, if you use your W in a way where it does not reset, then you get that damage over time, which also deals a lot of damage. Now we have the ultimate up. So there's a skill shot where you attack the opponent. If you do, then the shark will appear, knocking them up, and the damage scales with the distance. So if you hit them at maximum range, that's the highest damage output potential. Is that?
Not sure why they're tilting. Oh, that's a fed raven. Oh no, what is that? What is that? Okay. Will four will come? Looks like I need to make it make my way bot lane. Because they are tilting already. When that happens, there's a high chance to just randomly go AFK. That's a really OP combo you can do, guys, because your ultimate it has a delay to it, right? So it's pretty easy to dodge. So what I like to do is that if you queue through a minion and then throw out your ultimate at the same time, you can hide the animation of your ultimate. Like the starting animation. But if you do it right, then there's almost no way to dodge it, because they just cannot see it coming in until it is way too late. Just wait for me, guys. What is that? Ran, bro? I have to help Botlane. You have no choice but to just to help out. Oh nice, you got a shutdown, okay. That's Rhea really roaming? I don't think she can do anything. You're gonna die for that kill? There she is. You can E all walls guys, but you have to be close to do it with the first part. Like, you can E all walls with both the first and second part. Oh, okay, I'll play it, I guess. Does not matter, we got the kill still. That's why you don't want to blindly use your ultimate. Unless you're sure you can hit the opponent, and when you want to push, just use press the E once, and then just let it do its thing. You do not recast it, because that means that it comes out a lot faster, but you don't get that massive hitbox. It also does not slow either. So the quick E is something you want to be using when you do it for mobility only, or when you want to just get the damage off really fast. Is he getting the kill? Okay. He got everything under control. I think next time my ultimate is up, I'll be trying to make a play bot side. You just have to attack the Draven. Right now he's sitting at his mythic item and the Sheen, so he can easily burst us down. You see the minion surviving with almost no HP. We just need the last point into that E at level 9. Then we should be fine. Just We just have to wait for my ultimate and then we can make stuff happen. Unless they reset, they're not. Just waiting here a little bit. Seems like it's water somewhere. Now we can go in. We have to go in now. Yeah, that was nothing for me to do there, because he was just going under the tower, I think, after seeing me. We have the Herald on our side. Are they coming in here? Still five. Yeah, they were indeed. Interesting. I know I AD carry just on a speedrunning mission. Same thing as usual, go for the short trading combo, unless you can just straight up blast someone with a full combo. Where you Q in, auto attack, then W. And then E out, or continue the trade if you win it. But usually assassins just want to go for short trades. This is the combo under the tower. If you can do that combo I told you about really fast, Q in, auto attack, W, then it procs electrocute, and then you can E out, because it gets rid of that tower shot. You become untargetable, that's why. Almost level 9. For now, the E is gonna one shot the backline minions, which is really really huge, because that makes it so your way clear is a lot better. Now I just make my way bot side again, even though I'm sitting on a lot of gold. But what? Does he not have his W out? That's why I saved my ultimate. Because he can block it with it. Let's go bot side again. Just this brand has to chill out. I don't know what this guy's doing. He can dive. They have to wait a little bit. That's a flash out. Okay, she got him. That's fine, that's fine. They have to watch out for Katarina. Rip Elveth. 
Ay, 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 ok. She's toast. You flashed out. So we'll make a play next time. That's a bit unfortunate. Red Tower's fault. That actually ended up being a pretty bad play from us just because we are losing so much. But I have the Tempest now, so that's a big spike damage wise. So next time I make a play on the Draven. Remember, your E makes you untargetable. So you can actually make sure that you're blocking all the damage while you're engaging. It flashes down. E easily one shotting the backline minions now, so that's where your wave clear becomes really OP. Raven might be going down here, so they have to chill. Just D once. Damn wave gone. You can go back to the bot side now. What does Wukong have? He has the red smite. It's a little bit annoying. Why are we focusing that guy by the way? That's a what here. That's how you do it. You see I used that E to block out incoming damage early on. That way he cannot target me. And anything he throws at me would just end up missing. I also attacked him with the ultimate. I did the QR. I told you guys about. You hide the animation of your ultimate with your Q because you use them at the same time. Which means that even though they know the ultimate is coming out, they will have a very hard time seeing when it's coming out and in which direction, right? So that just makes it really hard to dodge. And it's completely fine using the ultimate in short range if you have enough damage to finish them off. Because at this point, we are mainly using it to tag them with a CC so we can finish them off with the rest of our abilities. Easy wave clear, entire wave gone, just like that. I have to go bot side again. I have ignite up soon so we can blast the Draven. He does have that annoying shield on the Eclipse though. We have to take him out. He's the target we want to go for. And he's gone. It is Draven, so if you're not this fed and trying to do that, it can be very risky guys, very risky for sure, I'm just gonna push. I think he got the Kazarian, yeah. And he will come too. Nope, he altered the wrong target. Rip. Not rip, he got this. That's why I did not use the ultimate on the Wukong right here, because I don't know if he has W or not. Now we can dive the uh, Misfortune. Fizz is one of the best tower divers in the game guys. Watch out for Draven. Not that way guys, Draven. Coming in. Take this one. Oh what? Did not go for it? Okay. Now of course have the Dark Seal fully stacked so it makes sense to buy this now. But the most important item on Fizz is the Sonya Sourglass. Out of all of his items. Because this is the playmaking item for him, it's used aggressively as well as defensively. It just allows you to play even more aggressive and then you have the active so you can buy yourself time until your other abilities are coming back up. Yeah. Oh whoops, misclick my bad. He's dead though. Darius is here luckily. That was really a terrible ultimate. Now just go for the Drake. This Draven should be really tilted right now. This is how you can uh, hop over the walls. If you're using the first pass to hop over, make sure that you're standing really close before you're using it, otherwise it's going to miss.
And this is how you do it with the second part of your E. So you can use the first part of your E to get closer to the wall, and then the second part to um, jump over. Okay, I got the flash out. We just focus down the Draven, remember you're playing an assassin, you're taking down the priority target. In this case of course going to be the Draven. He is so mad. This does same with every single Draven player is that they're always going to play aggressive and if you abuse that and kill them a couple times they're gonna tilt so hard. He is so mad. He wants to E over here. Oh, it's fine. I don't think I could have gotten her. She always has that double E when she picks up the passive, but as long as Draven is down, we're fine. We're good to go. Vayne is gonna scale up because she got pretty hard smashed in the bot side. As long as we are con consistently taking down the Draven, there is nobody to pressure her, so she gets to farm up for free. And my ultimate cooldown less than a minute and it's going to get even lower as we get more ability haste so that means that we just perma spam this ultimate on the draven tag him with it and he's dead if he does not have zonias he's gone that is okay he does not have he has ghost up soon used it but not enough okay nice try Raven is pushing bot side, I think I'll go bot and take him out. Vayne can push mid. That is the um, tilt split pushing we are witnessing right now. They just keep pushing one side lane. Happens in every single elo. He might still be here. Did he reset? Yeah, he's not completely tilting. That's good for their team. Just picking up a massive wave. Nice, Vayne also getting some kills for herself. It is the mid game, so just go to the side lane, guys, because that's how you make sure that you're actually getting some farm for yourself. If you just keep grouping mid, what I notice is that a lot of people tend to fall behind XP and CS wise because they just keep grouping. And that means that even if they had a bunch of kills, they just naturally fall even further behind because they're not farming. Don't FK in the side lane, just pick up the wave and then you can regroup. You see people already got caught. That happens all the time. Graham might still be here, so just wait. I like to wait in corners like this. I don't have the lens up yet. I also like to camp in here. They won't catch me. Yeah. We can also go for the Wukong now that I had the rip off. We don't see other people on the map, so I had to back off a little bit. Now my teammates are pushing mid, so they should definitely be over there and defending. That mobility you get from the Lunas Tempest actually helps out a ton. Just the Yowa. Super high mobility on this champion, that's why he's so hard to shut down. That's exactly why he's so difficult. Job. I'll just backing off here because I have the Sonyas. They might need help. Okay, Katarina, for what reason are you fat? You attack them with the ultimate, they are gone. You cannot get rid of this ultimate. You can use abilities to like make yourself untargetable and stuff. But you cannot stop when this ultimate attack you. You cannot take it away. You had to use Sonya, so something similar to our untargetable ability. Like, stop it. Are they buying MR? They are not yet. They might buy it though, so I'm just gonna build the components in advance. So if they're buying it, then I can finish this build. Otherwise, we just go straight into. Um, the lich pen here. So if they don't buy any MR right now, 
and I can just build into this. Lich Bane is another core item on Fist because he has so many ways to proc it with his Q and his W. Also being two low cooldown abilities. I might go for Baron, so I'm just gonna ward here and then I can camp. I'm gonna take out the Draven. Not going for it, seems like. Uh, what is Brother Brand doing? That's a bit questionable. That's not going to work, buddy. The QR combo, really fast. You see how fast I made it come out? That's why it's so OP to use. If I just used it normally, then Maokai would just stay in front. And that's no way I hit it. I used anything I have to like dash to it and then reposition myself so I can land the ultimate. There is bro. They could actually be doing the um, Drake. Wukong is there. I also had the Sonyas. So even if I mess something up. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess she... Oh, she is pretty fat as well. I was not paying attention to that, but even if I mess something up in that fight, I had the Sonyas I could pop. And then, you know, buy myself some time for the abilities to come up again. I won the fight, but we lost the drag, right? Yeah, I think we did. Now I want my teammates to go for the Baron, but there's a chance they don't listen and keep getting caught. If they go to the Baron right now, all of them, for whatever reason, our jungler is bot side. But if we go to the Baron, we can easily pressure them. While they're doing the Baron, I would be camping somewhere, for example, in this bush, because people rarely ward it. They like to ward here, right? So I don't camp here, but in this bush is fine. Also in the corners here, lots of places you can camp, but they don't necessarily ward. Okay, good. Kazarina sound. I have no clue how she's sitting on 8 kills, man. She got really hard destroyed, so that's why I was kind of core, core off guard. Okay, the ghost is down. Have the ultimate still for the Draven. Push this down. Oh bro, I had to ult him now, because you almost saved him. Raymond is down, so I think we can just keep pushing it out. Wukong is spawning soon, okay. He has a bag off, Katarina's up, she's gonna kill him. Oh, AD carry. Maybe not. Take the rip off. Then I'll just go bot and farm. Just one E, really easy, especially when you have the Tempest. Insanely fast wave player. Still no MR coming in, so I just built towards the Lich Bane. The problem is that I'm sitting on two components that don't really build into the same item, so I will need a lot of gold before I can buy this. So for a while, I'll not be able to build anything else. Now that the inhibitors are down in the bot, or mid and top side, and Draven is bot, we just push it out. Take the Baron. Wait for the Wukong. Back with the ultimate. Oh my god, he, ra he randomly used his W, what? Why would he do that? He used his W to get closer to the uh, monster camp. That was so random, bro, what? Could have been dead otherwise, but it's fine. The main purpose is to stop somebody from contesting the um, Baron. They are trying to rage. Split. I have flash up soon. They keep pushing. 
That's one recall. Gonna tank this one and then just keep chasing. That's the two recalls again. Is he dying? Yeah, he died to the ultimate. It followed him. But GG's. That should be done, right? Is my teammate's ending? Should be over. And that's it. That's how to play Fist, guys. So hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and see y'all next time.